And now just before we start to add in some hot water piping here from our hot water heater to our sinks, we're going to use the um, the system browser and the auto routing um, tool for this um, just you know as to pro provide some variety here as we model this kind of stuff so I want to talk a little bit uh, more about the system browser from our last lesson um, so if we for instance let's at this point we're using a model that's already predefined so everything in here is already part of a system if you hover and you hit tab and tab and tab you can see that that's part of different systems as you're tabbing but um, we haven't really talked about creating a system not in this particular series so much we have lots of that on our website you can definitely go have a look at that and just search for um, system or system browser or um, something of the sort from our previous lesson so what I've done is I've loaded a uh, another fixture over here just a regular um, flush uh, toilet so I'm just going to take that object and place it in here so this would be an example of just placing some objects in here without having a system for them escape escape on the keyboard if I pick on here and I click on here it's not going to give me any system information okay if I click out if I hover over here and pick on this sink you'll notice that when I pick on here if you go over here to say system name it says it's part of the domestic cold water one domestic hot water one and sanitary if you pick on this toilet it's going to tell you over here that it's part of the domestic cold water one and sanitary one so these objects already know what part of um, what system they're in so watch what we can do I can use a control button to pick these three toilets as an example and I go up here to see a create system this is how you get it into a system and I hit piping inside of there this is important that I can either add it to an existing system type or I can create a new one so just as an example in here I could go in here and say DG plumbing that's going to be my new system name and it's going to be grouped under sanitary okay in the system browser okay I can open it in the system editor if I want I'm not going to bother with that I'm just going to hit OK those three objects are now in a system called DG plumbing and it's going to be sorted under sanitary click out if I hover over here and go tab pick now I can see that that is in the system name DG plumbing and I can go in and change that if I want I don't want to I hit escape click out if I hit F9 on the keyboard I bring up my oh sorry about Revit's trying to get me to save I bring up my system browser and then under sanitary there's my DG plumbing okay so if I just look in here it's under piping not unassigned because it is assigned under piping under sanitary because that's where I said to group it DG plumbing and if I pick on here I can see that those objects are in that system so that's just a little kind of uh, just to wet your whistle on creating a system we haven't included any equipment or piping with this but just to kind of get you started so what watch what I can do I can right click on here earlier I said you can't do any editing in here and that's a little bit of a, a misnomer you can't edit the actual fields but you can right click on here and I can say delete and it'll delete that system and what it's going to do is it's going to delete the system it's not going to delete the objects now this guy isn't part of a system anymore I'm just going to get rid of these toilets okay so on that note watch what I can do I'm going to take my system browser here and I'm just going to squish it down a little bit. So I want to deal with the hot water system in here. So if I go to piping and I go to domestic hot water 1 and I pick on here, I'll see that I get that system. Once I've selected in here, I've used the project or the system browser to select that system. Now I'm going to go up here and I'm going to say generate layout. And it's going to put a predicted layout now earlier I had said again that you know the elevation was off and of course I kind of rushed through it but the thing is you can go in here into settings and you can set the offset of these of the main trunk and the branch to be at whatever elevation you want which means it's going to feed down here and work our way around okay so I can set this to be you know 1500 for the main line and the branch again 1500 and then hit OK and it's going to 
put that at the elevation 1500. In fact, I like the elevation um, settings here. I like that elevation of 400, which is about 16 inches. Okay, and you want to set that for both the branch and the main. I know you'll forget to do that and hit OK. And then after that, we can go like this and hit click, click, click. You can try to get one that's kind of close, and you can also go in and shift and swivel around. So if I look at that, I think, you know what? That's pretty good. You know, that's not too bad. So then if I want to tweak it a little bit, all I have to do is go in here and say Edit Layout, and pick on here, pick, and then move it over a little bit. Okay, I can pick on here. Can I nudge? No, I can't nudge. I have to pick on here and just kind of pull it over a little bit. Okay. If I don't like it, I can go uh, back to the solutions and say next, next, next. Okay. Uh, and I can add and remove to the system. But you know what? That actually isn't too bad. I don't mind that. So I'm going to say finish and let it auto root that. See how it works. Click out. Okay. Now, we might not have such good luck when we do it with the cold water because the cold water's got to connect one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten different uh, fixtures. So the cold water might be a little bit trickier. But if you zoom in here, I'm just going to close off my system browser. Um, and we look at that, you know, it, it was smart enough to know where the hot water connectors are. Um, the key is that when you do that, you set the elevation there, which I neglected to show in the previous lesson on our introduction to the system browser. But you can definitely set the elevation of those pipes, and then you can move them around as you please. And once they're even in, now that it's in and it is a pipe, I can pick on here and I can just, you know, use my arrow key to nudge it around. So I can nudge this up and down. I can go to a cross section or a different view or an elevation or do whatever I want. I can pick on here and change these uh, little little um, fixtures. Okay, the the fittings. I can pick on this fitting and change it to a different fitting type. If I pick on here, I'll notice that it's you know it's in the correct system. Domestic hot water, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So, really good example of. Um, using the system browser and using the auto routing uh, for the piping to our um, hot water fixtures.